This was what I thought my week was going to be like. Peaceful and quiet, minding my own business, and extremely productive. But instead, I was freaking doing yoga in the club, got a million bruises, got offered a $200,000 watch, while simultaneously having a full-blown existential crisis. And oh, did I mention that I popped a champagne bottle for the first time in my life? But before I explain just how I got myself into these shenanigans, let's first spend some time together in Vegas where I'll show you just how you can be a crackhead too. Hello there. So earlier, I went downstairs to get some food for my DoorDash and then I saw this neighbor who whatever in the elevator and then he commented on my food and he was like, oh, that smells really good. And then later he had the audacity to ask me if that was a breakfast or a lunch. I'm like, um, excuse me, like I woke up early today and I am not on your guys' Vegas schedule no more, which is nine to five. But when people say nine to five here, it's like 9, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. But yeah, so I've been like controlling myself and I've been doing way better now. I'm just trying to improve my sleep sleeping schedule and just not feel like shit, you know? But I'm like scared that I'm gonna fuck it up again this weekend. And because all of my friends are in town and it's one of my best friend's birthday. And I cannot believe this girl has the same birthday as my sister. And I have the same birthday as her brother, like, yeah, so I'm pretty excited for that. So yeah, stay tuned and stay watching if you want to be part of our three-day bender. They have everyone's but mine. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot believe I passed out from a mojito. So when I was drinking, I was like, this doesn't taste like anything. It's literally just tastes like strawberry lemonade, you know? But so I started chugging and dude, I got so drunk. And then I went back home. I was like on the bed, just like on my phone for a little bit and I passed the fog out. Okay, well, I'm gonna get ready. Like my face is so red. What the hell? Sashimi is so good. <laughs> the only way to prove that you had a good night is by getting injured. Color used on the original Royal Oak from 1972. That's so blue. It's, it's so nice. Bluest blue of blues. So I just 
got back from Vegas. This Vegas trip really took me out. I was not expecting to go so crazy. Like I've been doing so well with controlling myself with drinking. I had a lot of fun, um, but I did pay, pay my price. Like the other, the last night I stayed up till 7 a.m. And then I went home and I got like, I think four hours of sleep. And immediately when I woke up, I felt hella sick. And I'm about to go get dinner with one of my friends. It's pretty much what I have going on for today. Happy Wednesday. So I don't talk about manifestation a lot on my channel, but if you know me in real life, you'll know that I'm a total manifestation 1111 11, angel numbers freak. So I recently did my vision board and I showed it to my boyfriend and he was all questioning me on why I have two rings on there. So yeah, back to what I was saying. He was basically asking me like, why do you need two rings? And I'm like, honey, that is not two engagement rings <laughs> my point is like not only do i want to manifest a huge ass rock as an engagement ring i also want to be rich enough where i can also wear another huge ass rock just casually on any finger that i want <laughs> essentially this is my vision board it's not comprehensive there's obviously other things that i want in life that's not solely materialistic this is i guess just like the materialistic side of my vision board and it's pretty basic by now i feel like everybody knows pink is my favorite color so a lot of the things that i want um is in pink and for example i've been trying to manifest a pink birkin i also want to manifest a prettier and bigger closet so on and so forth just some very basic stuff a lot of books will tell you like you have to know in your heart in your mind whatever exactly what you want and have like the burning desire although i do feel like that is true because knowing what you want is literally the first step into guiding you on that path to reach your goal but i think aside from that another very important thing is that you need to be grateful first for what you have already and also to have an open mind i'm not gonna get too much into it because this video is not about manifestation essentially i feel like these two qualities being grateful and also you know just being open-minded really helps me in my journey with manifesting and law of attraction so if you have to take away one point from my video today is that we all have to learn to be grateful for all that we have even though it might not be a lot currently um and i know sometimes it's hard to be grateful for something when you know you don't physically have it yet but it's very important and there's always something to be grateful for. Good health, having a roof over your head, not having to really worry about where I'm living next or whether I have the means to put food on the table tonight or for tomorrow. And even also, you know, for like great weather, like today's weather is so nice, makes me feel so good and grateful for it. Well, maybe I don't have a Lamborghini, but I do also, I have a car that takes me places to where I need to go and you know and also like oh my family is in good health my friends are in good health like there are so many things to be grateful for it's the mindset of i already have it all that will help you attract more things in your life but if you're stuck in the mindset of this is not good that is not great you know i am the most unluckiest person in this world or you know this could be better then with that mindset of lack, that's where you will attract more things that will make you lack and um, be ungrateful for. So yeah, I mean, this is just my very quick two cents. Like it might not make sense. I'm trying to find a way to like see if I can explain it a little more clearly, but yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. If you guys are interested in, you know, learning more about manifestation and all law of attraction through my experience please do let me know i would love to make a video about it and just talk about it and just share 
my experience with attracting stuff into my life. But yeah, it's time to get back to work. Uh huh. Oh no, it's okay. I'm just and vlogging. Oh, of course. You my outfit? No, the other way. Can you tell us? It's like freezing in here. Oh. Oof, this one is so cute. I have to try it on. There's a couple right next to me and the whole time filming, I'm just trying to avoid them. The thing is, like I always love butt nuts, but I always feel like a regular butt nut is just too basic. <laughs> So this is literally exactly what I'm looking for. So it's basically like a bun up, but with embellishments. Bling, bling. Make his pockets hurt. Uh, December 16th. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to Hawaii uh, for it's actually for a wedding too, but um, just making a trip out of it. <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever smelled it before, but I'll I'll try it. <laughs> I'm <an> open mind. Take a separate bag for you. Yeah. Yes, please. Bag secured. And now I'm gonna go home. Exit this tower, cross over the ballet, into okay. the other tower. Okay. Yes, Hello room. We have a one bedroom suite and absolutely love the minimalistic style that's going on here. Also beautiful balcony that extends from the living room to the bedroom that makes you feel like you're in Paris or something. There's also a semi-walk-in closet with a cute little safe. Ooh. So I'm gonna give you like a lot of shit today. Is that okay? <laughs> What do you mean? Like two boxes, two folders, yeah, yeah, yeah. pouches. Yeah. It's a safe. There you go. Yeah. Mm. Gorgeous. Congratulations. Box, warranties, cloth. There's watches in here. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. Is this right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, you gotta. Damn it. No, 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 you gotta keep twisting. No, 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 no. You got it? Oh. I won't spray. That's what she said. <laughs> that way? You could. Oh, I gotta twist it? Yeah, you gotta twist it. Yeah, there you go. So like halfway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then. No, yeah. maybe more, a little bit more. A little more. But careful. Yeah. Okay, now I can do it. Yeah. yeah don't point it towards your face. Yeah! Woo! 
Oh, oh yeah. I was so scared. <laughs> that took like a minute. Oh shit, I didn't get it. Yeah, get go, it. go, go, go. Yeah, One, two, three. Yo, hey, cheers. How we met and all everything we've done together and like to be at this point, to me it's I feel really lucky. I feel really lucky and I'm I feel lucky one. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I feel like we're going out. Yeah. I'll sponsor sauce. Okay. Oh. What? See, you barely have to cook it. Yeah, really Seriously, like, it's like two seconds and it's done. Yeah. Eight has all nine. try the Hailey Bieber smoothie from Erewhon. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but since like I don't come to LA a lot, I'm always in Orange County or Vegas, like I want to seize this chance to go try it out. I literally feel like that smoothie and just like this whole vibe is like the pinnacle of basic LA girl. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know, but yeah, I do I just really want to try it out because I keep seeing it on Instagram. Everyone's like, oh, "Hey, let me wear smoothie." Like, "Hey, let me wear smoothie." So, I want to know what the hype is all about. We are here. We fell in love in the winter, but I miss you most in the fall. Three years, eleven months together after one night in Montreal. Red leaves are in the breeze of Nashville. Something's in the way the sunlight's hidden. It's got me thinking about you. 